Hey guys, it's Madame Moria. Welcome back to even more Babysitting Mama. We are still babysitting Daniel and we're starting on page 3 of his baby book. We'll be covering page 3 and 4 today and we're apparently in the park. So, yeah, baby Daniel, let's work. Um, I know, we have to be careful not to shake the baby. Too bad we already did and we got away with it. Whoa. Um... Okay, so yay for lifting games. Hopefully we get some more newbies in here because we had quite a few new mini games last time. I have a feeling that we're going to be interrupted by Kid Peach um, again at some point during this because all the lifting ones have an interruption because it's like, oh, this is too easy. Let's make it interesting by having something annoying happen. So um, that is likely to happen. Why are you talking so much when we could just lift the baby and make him happy instead of you going, ooh, do this. So, at least Daniel's having a good time. And this isn't a good sign. Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe it's... Watch, that kid will come in on like the last bar that we have to finish. Uh-oh, here it comes. What? I didn't even do anything. Well, that was miraculous. I expected that kid to come in, but apparently not. Alright, well. So much for my predictions. Anyway, moving on. What's happening here? Whoa, what is with that? We don't need to do this with the baby. Uh-oh, baby's gonna stand up. Are we gonna have to walk the baby again? Because we always have to walk the baby at some point in time. You get way too excited about it. I know. We have to be careful not to shake the baby. Too bad we already did and we got away with it. Whoa. Um. Okay. So yay for lifting games. Hopefully we get some more newbies in here. Because we had quite a few new mini games last time. I have a feeling that we're going to be interrupted by Kid Peach. Um again at some point during this because all the lifting ones have an interruption it's like oh this is too easy let's make it interesting by having something annoying happen so um that is likely to happen why are you talking so much when we could just lift the baby and make him happy instead of you going ooh do this so at least daniel's having a good time and this isn't a good sign. Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe it's... Watch, that kid will come in on like the last bar that we have to finish. Uh-oh, here it comes. What? I didn't even do anything. Well, that was miraculous. I expected that kid to come in, but apparently not. Alright, well... So much for my predictions. Anyway, moving on. What's happening here? Whoa, what is with that? We don't need to do this with the baby. Uh-oh, baby's going to stand up. Are we going to have to walk the baby again? Because we always have to walk the baby at some point in time. We get way too excited about it. Oh, man. Oh, yay. We're treating our baby like a dog. How exciting. Why is this normal? Watch the baby's balance. Don't let the baby fall over. Okay. Well. Um. What? Okay, this is like... I thought this was going to make us clap or something, and instead it's like not very interactive at all. Come on, babysitting mama. You need to have all the interactive minigames happening. I mean, that is one good thing about this game. It is a very interactive game, especially for younger children who, um, like me, when I was uh, little, I loved baby dolls, so I probably would have loved this game as a small child, um, which I love it now just because it's so, you know, comical and ridiculous, but, um, wow, we are almost failing. Okay, we didn't fail though, we did okay. 
Um, but yeah, like, that is something about the Mama games. They feel a lot more interactive just because I feel like they utilize the Wii controls very well. Uh, the Wii motion controls, especially Cooking Mama, which was the big break. Um, even with the DS, that was a very interactive game that was well done for, you know, well designed for the stylus. Sure, the translation's terrible and, um, it's just got some really goofy mechanics and ideas, but, um, I would say that it is very consistent with, um, good quality interaction. I don't know how easy this game is to find anymore, um, nor am I sure how easy it is to find the real, um, babe, er, not babe, the real Cooking Mama, the first one for Wii. There are several, um, but the first one I would think is the best. I don't know. 3112, right? Okay. 3, 1, one, two, yay! And he's crying, that's not good. Two, two, one, and three. Two, two, one, and three. I love this little song happening here! No, I did it three times! Are you serious? You cheated me out. I did it. Two, three, one, two. One, two. One, two, three. I'm not! Did you guys see me shake the baby? That's right, because I didn't. Three, one, one, two, right? Okay. Three, one, one, two, yay! And he's crying, that's not good. Two, two, one, and three. Two, two, one, and three. I love this little song happening here. No, I did it three times. Are you serious? You cheated me out. I did it. Two, three, one, two. One, two. One, two, three. I'm not! Did you guys see me shake the baby? That's right, because I didn't. One. One. One, two. Fantastic. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I don't even know if I remember it now because you're playing without shaking the baby, even though I was patting the baby. Three, three, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, one, two, three. Yes, we did it. Ah! Okay, good. Bravo! Thank you, Mama. You're pretty cool. Maybe. Not really, but whatever. We'll pretend like you're cool for the benefit of our own sanity, I guess. Wow, that's a close up and personal shot. Okay. Whoa, someone's going crazy in the yard and bugging the baby. What is the name of our dog? I think some of you have posted the name of the dog in the comments, unless you made the name up, but I don't think you did. Um, Max, well, never mind, you guys don't have to tell me anymore, because I apparently know the name of the dog already. Now this is a sight I wish I saw in real life, is a fiery-eyed crazy woman who is wearing a big long orange apron and a uh, pink bandana trying to catch a dog in the park. Now, what is this? Literally babysitting mama? We're not even babysitting kids anymore, we're babysitting mama. Wait, how did we do this? I don't understand. I pushed go the other way. I don't know what's happening. I don't really understand the whole idea behind this game. Nor how that happened. Why are you trying to catch a dog? Where's the baby? You left the baby to go catch the dog. 
Well, it would have helped if I would have known what the heck I was supposed to be doing, because every time I turned, you claimed it was good, but it was actually bad. Okay, I don't know, but that's cool. Once again, silver medal. Um, but it's all good, because we're moving on to the next page anyway, so it doesn't matter. We're just gonna hot foot it to page four. Yay, 75! That was worse than last time! Oops. It's because we didn't catch the freaking dog. Which, who wants to catch a dog? No one. Okay, well... Yay, new page added! Which we already knew what's happening, but... That's cool. We'll go with it. We'll go with the flow. And next page, let's start. No holding back. Oh, uh, we're back in the nursery. We're not in the park anymore, but whatever. I kind of like being in the nursery better than the park. I'm surprised we didn't get interrupted at all by Kid Peach last time. That just, that's a bad sign for this little maneuver right here happening. Because this is the same sort of thing. We always start with some kind of lifting game. Um, and then we get interrupted by a faucet or a pair of socks. Which is ridiculous. You'd think they could have been a little bit more creative or clever with thinking up what could be the conflict of an interruption, but no. It couldn't be that the kid was trying to, you know, cook macaroni and cheese on or in the microwave and it was burning because she answered the phone to talk to grandma and Meanwhile, knocked over the juice box that she had on the table and it's all over the floor. No, it has to be, I couldn't find my socks. I wonder how you what? That's a bad sign for this little maneuver right here happening. Because this is the same sort of thing. We always start with some kind of lifting game. Um, and then we get interrupted by a faucet or a pair of socks. Which is ridiculous. You'd think they could have been a little bit more creative or clever with thinking up what could be the conflict of an interruption, but no. It couldn't be that the kid was trying to, you know, cook macaroni and cheese on or in the microwave and it was burning because she answered the phone to talk to Grandma and meanwhile knocked over the juice box that she had on the table and it's all over the floor. No, it has to be, I couldn't find my socks! What? Reminds me of that Rugrats episode where Dee Dee's like trying to get stuff done and Stu's like, Hey Dee Dee, uh, did you see my socks? Or what does he say? I know he's like, did you see my tie at one point? Um, that episode, I remember that episode being really funny too. Cause she just keeps getting distracted by him needing something. Um, watching that, I feel like watching that episode in particular as an adult versus as a child. Um, would be a lot more hilarious now than it was back then just because um, the concept is kind of um, kind of for an older demographic I guess oh wait I was supposed to move it I'm sorry I don't remember what episode that is but I haven't seen it um, no, I haven't seen that episode in a long time, I guess. Ooh! Stop slamming the food down! I don't understand how this is... Well, I guess this is realistic. I just don't think you have to move the plate to match the baby's hand all the time. Oh, we failed. Sorry! You're the one moving the plate. Um... Oh no, we didn't have food for baby. Ha <laughs> I'm sorry, you're the one who's all high maintenance over here trying to slam the food down. What is this, eggs? Looks like egg. I don't know. Yummy time! Sounds like a fun game. Okay. And next up... What's our next game? I've never played Yummy Time before, so... Apparently that's new. 
Alright. And we get to sit with the baby again. So yeah, um, I, uh, I've gotten quite a few questions saying, you know, do you know the availability of this game still? Which I have not seen it for sale in um, a long time just because it does come with the doll because it really, it has to. I don't, if you got it at GameStop and it was just the game without the doll, I don't think you'd be able to play it. Just, I mean, you would, I guess, but it wouldn't be as fun or it'd be kind of weird. You'd have to manipulate it to, you know, just match movements on your own without the doll um, and just holding the Wii mote, which is kind of weird. Um, it's kind of like buying Mario Paint without the mouse. You just, you can't do it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know the availability on this game. It was one of those, like, Black Friday deals for a long time where it was, like, five dollars, I think. So, um, it went down quite a bit in price after not too long. And, um, then I don't even know if they carry it so much anymore in, like, Best Buy or, um, electronic stores like that. I don't remember seeing it in GameStop. I mean, it'd be worth checking into, but... I know a lot of you have asked me, you know, where, do you have any idea where to find this game now? Um, your best bet might be online rather than somewhere, um, an actual store. Like, you might try Amazon. I don't know how expensive it would be on there, just if it is a rare game, but, um, wait, did we, okay, I get it. So what do you want? Um, what? <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Oh no! <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. I've never seen this before. Oh no, I did not! Am I not doing something right? There we go. Okay, I think I did it right this time. Okay. Yes. We did it right that time. We didn't bounce it off of Daniel's head. <laughs> Which is hilarious that that actually happened. Okay. I'm starting to get the hang of this. And I think we're gonna run out of time, but at least I did manage to get some. Oh no, unless it tells me I failed. I should have at least gotten a silver. Okay, good, I did. I was gonna say I got over halfway. That's not fair if I don't even get a silver. That's rude. Okay. So now what? Oh, that was the last game. Didn't even realize it. It seemed like it went by too fast to be the last game. I guess because I was blabbing. Ooh. Ah! Excuse me, I had to yawn. Um, that's what happens when you talk too much without breathing. Breathing is good. But anyway, that's all of Babysitting Mama that we're going to see for the day. We're going to be covering pages 5 and 6 next time of Daniel's baby book, which are the final two pages. So after that... It's time to move on to another week with a new baby. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more Babysitting Daniel. So, until then, peace out, pimps.